we're happy that Tesla is um, is investing for growth and is just looking to, to make as many cars as it possibly can. Hey, I'm Steven and this is Solving the Money Problem. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. So today we're talking about the $5 billion Tesla stock offering that was announced yesterday. The result of this announcement, stock was up pre-market yesterday, announcement was made, suddenly fell off a cliff, and today we're seeing plenty of profit taking. Tesla stock down around 7 to 10% as I record this. Now as the saying goes, you won't go broke taking a profit but I kind of think you're not going to get wealthy taking a profit either. So not investment advice and I'm not ripping on the people that are selling a little bit of stock off now to lock in some gains. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But I really do believe that these prices in 2030 are going to look like a joke. So I'm not selling any. In fact, I've actually been buying more Tesla stock today, including some, I'm thankful to say, at $420.69. For the memes, of course. And in all seriousness, guys, I do understand that there's plenty of people who watch this channel who literally would go jump off a bridge if I told them to, so I need to get this out of the way. Please don't copy me, okay? Your circumstances, your risk profile, your investment strategy is different to mine. My average buy price on Tesla stock today, when you factor in the split, is around $60 per share. And on top of that, I do not intend on selling a single share of Tesla stock for at least 10 more years. And the final piece of the puzzle, my income is considerably higher than average. This wasn't always the case, but today I only spend about five to 10% of my income on living expenses. Obviously there's a massive surplus there. So I've got a lot of safety and flexibility built into my financial situation. You may not. Now I'm not saying do or don't buy Tesla stock. I just wanted to put that out there and make it very clear that my circumstances and my goal, very long-term hold, lots of cash flow, way more than I need to actually cover my living costs. I'm in a very tidy financial situation. So this gives me the ability to buy Tesla stock near all time highs, knowing that I will not be forced to sell a single share for at least 10 years anyway. It'll be at my choice and at my discretion. So keep that in mind, please. So let's see what ARK Invest analyst Tasha Keeney had to say about Tesla's $5 billion capital raise. Those of you who don't know, ARK Invest famous for their $7,000 price target, which after the split would be $1,400 per share. But first, hey guys, if you're in the US and you'd like to help out the channel and get a free stock, check out the link in the description to Weeble. If you open a new account and fund it with $100, you'll get a free stock valued up to $1,600. And if you're in Australia, the UK or New Zealand, you can get a free stock with stake also using the link in the description. Let's get back to it. Tesla has been doing well on the back of this stock split. What's your take on this latest announcement that the company is going to be selling up to $5 billion in shares? Well, yeah, I think the company is taking advantage of um, its current market cap. Um, I, I think obviously this would allow Tesla to produce more vehicles, um, which from our perspective is a good thing, right? Um, so, you know, you and I have talked about autonomous cars and, and Tesla's future in that market many times before. I mean, the more cars that Tesla has on the road means the more data it's collecting and it's, it's really furthering that goal as well. Um, so, you know, at our, we're long-term investors. We've always been looking five years out or more um, at our at our companies. So, so we're happy that Tesla is um, is investing for growth and is just looking to to make as many cars as it possibly can. Tasha makes a fairly obvious point there. Tesla raises some capital that gives them the option of accelerating and increasing their rate of production. However. Up until this point, it seems like Tesla's been constrained on the battery supply side. Wait a minute. Isn't Battery Invest today coming up in a few weeks? Oh my gosh. I think there might be a connection. We'll come back to this thought in a moment. But just before that, I want to run you guys through a little bit of a thought exercise and explain why Tesla would do what they've done with this $5 billion capital raise. Explain some of the details. Very simple terms. I don't want to bore you guys to tears. But effectively, rather than what most companies would do when they're issuing stock to raise more capital and just set an, a price and send them to market and sell them at that price, and that's a done deal, Tesla has an extreme position of power and said, sup bitches, we're gonna do things differently. We're gonna do things extremely in our favor. So listen up, take notes, we're doing it this way. We're gonna have the option to tell you to go sell some of our shares only if we decide to, which we will do when the price or circumstances are in our favor. And until then, you don't sell shit, okay? We tell you to sell, at this point in time, on this day, at this price, you sell, otherwise nothing happens. This is an enormous power play from Tesla. Basically come in and just thought, you know what, we can put ourselves in an incredible situation for further expansion and increased safety with terms that really suit us. They can raise up to $5 billion by selling all of the stock, but they don't have to. 
they've just got it's effectively like a line of credit on demand cash if Tesla needs it so this increases their ability to scale improve invest in machinery equipment etc that will actually drive down costs over the long term as well so they'll provide a long term return it increases their liquidity as well and who knows what else I mean if Tesla needs to acquire a few companies here or there at the same time as building new factories getting battery production up and running etc they can do it let me give you guys an example that you might be able to relate to a little bit better about why it makes so much sense to raise this capital with the kind of terms that Tesla have so some of you will know some of you don't I invested in real estate beginning in 2010 did pretty well in that as well that's kind of where I built some of my my mindset around you know long-term investing and not wanting to have regrets one of the smartest things that I did before I began investing was actually ask a bunch of experienced investors every time I go to investor meetups etc what's your biggest mistake almost universally the biggest regret just about everyone had on average was selling an asset they could have just kept because they didn't need to sell it so that kind of forged a bit of my mindset so anyway with the real estate investing in Australia and many other places you can actually increase a loan against the property if it's increased in value or you've added value to it by refurbishing renovating improving etc so you can effectively use real estate assets assuming you've got the income etc to be able to get the loan to actually pull capital out now in Australia you can get what's called an offset account so that money comes out and it basically unless you use the money you don't pay anything there's no it's there it's available but you're not paying any penalty at all no interest etc to have it available to you and you have the option of using that and then you'll pay interest on the amount you use Tesla's in a similar situation right with their shares they have the option to sell some but not all and only on their terms and the reason that I did this it gave me the ability to expand and scale my real estate portfolio I pull the money out there and then I've got enough of a deposit after some time for another property or another renovation or something along those lines so having that capital could allow me to scale and improve my investment portfolio and in the case of Tesla the same kind of thing scale and improve their business their reach drive down costs further etc and the second element to having access to all this capital should you require it is in case of emergency or surprise unforeseen circumstances it puts you in an even more robust financial situation so the ultimate story with this capital raise in my opinion is nothing but winning Tesla is in a safer stronger financial situation and they have the flexibility and the options to invest in scale bringing down costs etc it's just brilliant so Tesla has access to up to five billion dollars of new capital coming into the business on great terms that suit them and we're just about to go into battery investor day hmm Elon Musk also just surpassed Mark Zuckerberg as the third richest person in the world because of the rise that we've seen in Tesla's stock what is your outlook though on growth as the pandemic continues still more uncertainty ahead yes people want more private modes of transportation but people aren't uh, commuting as much and there are a lot of people out there struggling we're in a recession they don't necessarily have the money to spend on a new car yeah well you know T tesla showed that graph in its last earnings report um basically it's the only automaker that's really seen growth in this time this is a very telling fact unsurprising i called this during the pandemic suggesting that tesla would gain market share relative to other automakers not surprising and the reason is twofold one of course is that tesla's vehicles offer so much value that is so far above and beyond anything else out in the marketplace that people will continue to buy these vehicles even if overall the new vehicle market is down dramatically because it's an obvious logical choice you really do need to have rocks in your head or very unusual requirements in your vehicle whether it's aesthetics or a certain size and shape because otherwise if you just look at the numbers the performance the total cost of ownership etc if you're anywhere close to the price range of a Tesla and you're buying a new vehicle and you're in the United States or China or anywhere else that the supercharger network is built out including Europe it makes total sense to buy a Tesla so everyone's going to look around if they're not spending as much or worried or economic conditions are tougher it actually works in Tesla's favor and the second tailwind behind Tesla is their online ordering contactless deliveries Tesla was built for this kind of situation disruptive innovative companies tend to do very well in times of disruption chaos panic and surprise this is exactly what we're seeing now doing things differently more agile leaner better smarter is working heavily in Tesla's favor at this time as well you've got a double whammy by miles the best value product and the easiest most suitable for the conditions the world is currently in talk about winning so I, I think um, I, I'm more concerned about the rest of the auto industry in this pandemic I mean if you're a traditional automaker and you're trying to shift towards electric vehicles you're trying to shift towards autonomous technology and you have to invest in that um, when your core business is failing, 
that just becomes a much harder problem. What a perfect opportunity for me to once again reiterate my feelings. Legacy automakers are fucked. On average, they're fucked. They're either going bankrupt, they're gonna be acquired or merge or begin licensing technology from someone who knows how to do it say Tesla, for example. And and to really rally behind something that you have to, again, pour money into to make it happen, um, it's just even harder to do that when you have to uh, deal with layoffs and sort of cutting what's, um, you know, not not crucial at the company. And maybe you're even focusing on selling trucks because that's what that sells in, in periods like this. Um, so so I, th I think, if, if anything, it really solidifies Tesla's position as a leader in electric vehicles and as a technology player in the auto market. Um, you're absolutely right that, you know, as for the auto industry as a whole, um, this is this is not a great year. But um, for EVs long term, you know we see um, battery costs declining. Uh, that's going to continue. Electric vehicles will be cheaper than gas powered cars. That's going to cause a massive demand switch towards EVs. Um, and then a player like Tesla is is you know uh, a leader in the space again. So so that'll that'll only boost them. So to sum this one up, Tesla now has access to up to $5 billion on very positive terms that they are in complete control over, total power move. In addition, the world is moving through this pandemic, which has accelerated the death of the internal combustion engine industry. Tesla's market share was already growing, they're already accelerating, and now they've got access to an absolute shit ton of additional capital should they need it. What else can I say? The future looks bright. I'm Stephen Mark Ryan. This is Solving the Money Problem, and I love you all. And don't forget your free stocks with Webull and Stake using the links below. Deposit $100 in your Webull account, you'll get a free stock valued up to $1,600. Bucks and Stake, spin the roulette wheel, you'll either get Nike, GoPro, or Dropbox. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And of course, if you have any ideas for future videos, let me know. I read all your comments. P.S. If you're still watching, you're awesome. If you'd like early access, exclusive videos, regular Q&As, our private Discord server, and more, consider supporting the channel at patreon.com slash solving the money problem so I can keep creating content for you guys. There's a link in the description. You can now also become a member of the channel for some exclusive perks. To learn more, click the join button next to subscribe and don't forget to check out our merch store. Either way, the best form of support is you being here and watching so thanks again.